Hi, uh, this is a demo that show the, um, hopefully it's going to be a quick demo that show the uh, new functionality, the ability to use um, VST plugins uh, to process the sound, um, to process the sound effect. Uh, in this demo, um, I'm going to use VST plugins to achieve um, pitch shifting, lên tông xuống tông and um, auto volume control so both of these features are um, I can achieve uh, with the VST effect uh, toward the end of the demo I'll, uh, I'll uh, touch quickly the other effect uh, that uh, so besides pitch shifting and, and auto volume control you, you can use VST to uh, to get some uh, pretty cool stuff uh, so I'll show that toward the end Okay, so here on this um, primary monitor, I have T-Carker loaded, connected it to the songbook. Over here on the secondary monitor, I have my my uh, my songbook page up, and uh, also I have this uh, control panels here. So unlike last the last uh, implementation, this one does not require any special sound card. As you can see, I have a Creative Lab uh, XFI sound card selected uh, as my as my uh, my output sound card. Um, so this does not require the Viewtech uh, sound card uh, like the previous implementation. So uh, let's let's go ahead and so okay. So for the the pitch shifting, I'm going to use the same song that uh, that song by Kam Lee. And uh, when I show the uh, the auto volume control, when I'll I'll be selecting a few songs that are that have different um, uh, output volumes and uh, also some of them are like high beat, um, like uh, some remix songs. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and start our complete song here. So uh, I'll click on that to start it. So we here should play. Um, so same as before, we're gonna use we're gonna assign number two right here, number two on the remote to bring up the uh, the, the effect selection. Um, I'm gonna let the song start for a few seconds, and then we'll bring um, press number two to bring it up. So this is uh, the neutral, uh, there's no effect, um, there's no pitch shifting effect. Um, I do have the uh, auto volume control effect in place right now, but we only play one song so we, we can't tell. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and bring up number two right here. Um, so it's, it's chained right here, that, uh, I'm at effect uh, zero, neutral pitch, and it is using the auto leveler, using the wave um, dynamic range compression. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll I press the up and down volume. I'm, I'm pushing the up and down volume on the on the remote here. So for each, uh, I have a, a configuration set up so that each of these increment will increment increment um, a quarter quarter note. So neutral up a quarter note. Uh, you can see there, tang tang quarter note, uh, half note, three quarter, whole note. You know, a one and a half note. So uh, what I do is I'll increment by I say uh, a quarter note, uh, and then let it idle for a few seconds, or I can hit the uh, enter. Um, okay, notice there is no window showing up when that happened. Um, previously, there was a driver window that show up on top of our video. So what I do, I'll zoom out over here and I'll try that again to show that there is no window showing up. So I'll crank up to whole note hit enter you can you can hear the sound change um, there is no window showing up okay um, so so to go to the extreme uh, again you typically go up a quarter note down quarter note um, up a half note or, or you know a three quarter note most likely you're not gonna go all the way to like uh, you know uh, a whole um, Four notes or something, but I, I'm gonna try that just to just to show that it, it can be done. So I'll bring up number two. Um, I'm gonna go up. Go Let's see. 
this right here have two notes up. Okay. You can see Gumbly sounds really high pitch right now. Okay. Uh, similarly, you can go down. I can go down a quarter note. Try it again. Oh wait a minute. I can go down four notes. But somehow I can only go up. Let's see. Oh, I can go up more. Oh. Yeah, I can go up all the way to four notes. Let's see. Uh, uh, oh, it, it, it wrapped around. Oh, I see. Okay, so... Let's see. I can go... Yeah, I can go up four notes. Let's try that. That's really high pitch right there. Um, we got number two again. And go down. I'll go down to four notes down. That's that. That sounds pretty weird there. Um, let me go back to neutral. Or just or just a quarter note down. It's most likely the probably the useful range. Um, Okay, so next I'm gonna I'm gonna try the uh, the auto volume control feature. So let, let me bring back and go back to uh, neutral here. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll play um, I'll play this this one song um, that the Lin Kuk Hwang Ti Tho one. That one was hard because the previous implementation uh, auto volume implementation. It's hard to come up with one set of parameters that would work for like a slow song and a remix song. Um, so here I'll choose that that really high beat remix remix songs. Then co Kwanti Tower here. I'll put that in the queue. Um, and then I'll skip this song using the remote. It's probably hard to hear over the, the monitor remote, uh, monitor uh, speaker here, but uh, I'm, I'm going to try my best to show, to so say, if I go ahead and change the software volume now, I'm changing the software volume, you can see that it does not affect the overall volume that much, because why? Because we have our compressor coming in, kicking in, and keeping the, the, the total volume constant. So without without the um, the compressor, when you go down like you know 20%, you you it will be really soft. Um, but here, so I'll say there different songs have slightly different output volumes. We will hear uh, a constant volume because of our compressor. Um, so let me, let me try to pick this up here. The, it won't change volume much because the uh, the compressor come in and, and sort of normalize the audio. Um, let's try a different song here. Let's go down to 50. Let's try a different song. Uh, this one song is a little soft. Mong Wem Kong Mai. That that was a little soft. And then and then I think Phi uh, Vung the Cook was a was a. Uh, a pretty loud song, so I'll top cue both of those songs in, and then I'll skip this one. Again, I'm not sure if you can you can hear the difference over the phone recording here, but um, the the uh, the auto volume control works pretty well uh, from what I see here uh, because of our I'm using the waves. Uh, 
max volume effect. Um, we love it here. This this song without um, other volume control, it's a little bit softer than a, a normal song. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and skip it and play a a, 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 a much louder song. And hopefully you can hear that there's a very low difference in the overall output volume. Skip this song. Um, all compressor is, is is working hard right now. Um, let, let me let me show that compressor actually. Um, so what happened here is um, you can see our, our VST host is down here, but it, it's hidden by uh, T karaoke. So that's why when we switch the the effect, you don't see Reaper window showing up at all because it is now it's now somewhere it's it's hidden. And what I'll do is uh, I bring it I manually bring it back so I can control it. I'll bring it back here. Um, and this under this effect. Actually, actually I'll bring it over here. I'll bring it over here. So uh, this is our um I'm not sure you can see it from here, but it says right here wave max volumes. Okay. Um it, it is um, controlling the overall volume, keeping it uh, normalized. And, and by the way, you can change the parameter, uh, you know, that best fit your need. Um, I just picked something that I think is good, but it's certainly probably not the optimal settings. You can you can make change uh, yourself and uh, and uh, save it and uh, take take okay we'll apply this effect. Okay, uh, I want to quickly touch base with this um, this sound shifting the, the sound shifting plugin that you saw it, it's a Sony implementation um, you are welcome to use other as well um, but uh, the one I'm using is a Sony one I think it's pretty good um, Wave itself has a, its own sound shifting uh, plugin uh, so what, what I'll do here is uh, I'll add uh, a, a different plugin here uh, it's called the Isotope Ozone. Um, so this is a pretty fancy, um, pretty fancy uh, um, plugin. It it allows you to change a lot of things. I mean, the graphics look cool. I mean, I didn't get a chance to really play around with it yet, but it looks like it it has a harmonic exciter uh, effect. Uh, EQ, reverb, a lot of useful stuff. Um, you can just train it up in the in the effect chain here, um, and uh, and achieve other uh, other sound effect uh, not covered by this demo. Um, that's it. Um, that's it. That's all the uh, that's all um, about this uh, plugin uh, VST plugin uh, feature. Alright, hopefully uh, you guys will find this useful.